Okay. So... Esco gets kicked. In all likelihood, we are... Are we giving this up? The problem is, it's kind of hard to push this. Yep. Let's do something like that. We don't have Ragnarok to push with. If we could avoid... Yeah. Playing a gold card, uh, that would be ideal. Let's go with the Swordmaster. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. A good answer. Kayam! The question is, how does Gurnshura play now? I think it should be a very similar deck. Because... The previous deck didn't heavily rely on... Uh, on goals. Or maybe it didn't even have any. So it should be fairly similar. Uh, maybe we're just gonna play the sentry. It could look dangerous, but like, come on. We're not doing anything. We're just using them as a throwaway. This will be quick and painful. Oh, that's really good. I'm a little surprised that he didn't use the tactical advantage, but okay, sure. Uh, whatever you want, mate. Finding Ragnarok would be great. <clears throat> Actually, I kind of want to throw away a trap. Hopefully, we don't get a Witcher. Yeah, sure. In all likelihood, we're gonna draw into one more trap. Yeah, that's why I kept the archers. They're really good at dealing with that crap. I have two choices. Either we play the Witchers or we play Pafko. Pafko could be pretty powerful next turn. And by playing the Witchers first. Don't teach your grandma to suck mm. eggs. We're not giving up too much value. Yeah, this is this was better. As long as we get the appropriate cards last round, it should be an easy win. Oh, Ragnarog. One crushing trap. And this is basically the dream. <clears throat> I can replace this guy for Smuggler. Now, this is tricky. We need to throw back the trap. But overall, playing the traps like this is better. We throw back the other trap. Well. That worth it? Okay, let's start with Popco. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. We might even just must have killed Gurnachora's fruit. Oh, that's annoying. 
Uh, we can lock it. But, nah. Alright, now that we play the Alvin Scouts, then the Horn, or the Horn first, then the Alvin Scouts, also we have another option, that we play the Alvin Scouts, then the Trap. So just in case, he has... Only death here for Dwan. Problem is we can't really play anything that will... Uh, get out removal, so this is not great. <clears throat> Do you have a viable Arnold deck? Arnold? Like the Schwarzenegger? Which Arnold? Okay, he's burning in the fire. That's good. I can just move him in the fire. That that's that's fine. Onward, Let's do it now. Arnold. I I properly confuse me. Like the animated uh, show that I just googled very briefly. I think we have to play the Elm um, Scout. <laughs> the likelihood that he has a trap counter is extremely low. So this is gonna be played one before last. Have you check out the checked out the new expansion information? Oh, that's pretty strong. Oh, we can actually be tricky here. Play the pitfall trap. Well, oh, pick up the pitfall trap. So put down the horn. Then we can play a pitfall trap. <laughs> now, if he can play something weak. Oh, crap. It's gonna happen on his turn start. I can actually dodge that. With the exception of the Mahakam Horn, we would need to trigger that first. Because I won't be here to really enjoy it. Do that. You might put me in the back. So we gotta time it perfectly. 
And I'm not the best at timing it perfectly. It should have a timer on it. <laughs> okay, we have to move it next turn. And currently he is pretty ah, damn screwed. Okay. Oh, at the start of my turn. So there was zero chance that I could ever do this. Down yeah, turn start. It doesn't wait. It doesn't even say on whose turn start. But I should have known that, and I did. So but triggering the Mahakam Horn was still a good idea. I'm not sure what to do here. His back is gonna get completely destroyed. Moving him into the fire is not gonna help much. Get some bonuses! Alright, we didn't get it all. That's it, GG. <clears throat> Turn start on where the effect takes place, yep. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that because I, I, I have a brief experience with Hubert decks. But uh, just by the description it's not very clear. GG. Okay. I don't really want to push too much here. Okay. Oh my god. So I don't know what this guy is up. About. The thing is, if he has a Slizar deck, we have a Ragnarok, which is great. So I just go with Smuggler. Uh, the plan here is just to temple pass against him. Do I use one hero power to gain bonuses later? I think that's sensible a little bit and helps with the tempo pass. But we might just get some bonuses here. So, drawing out the round is not a terrible idea. Yeah. Is there anyone in the game who doesn't have the Witchers? I don't think there's a single guy. Puff could be a decent one to... Yeah, I don't know. But only if you stick around. That I don't intend on doing. But I have two smugglers down. Just crazy. Let's stick around. I have to make a, a guess which deck he's running. Slizard or Long Round. Yennefer or Umbrellet or Grave Hag. We don't know. Be anything. Play the Witchers. Alright, 
Uh, let's pass. We're still gonna get two boost. Pretty good. So we basically got what we wanted. Ooh. At this point, I actually wouldn't mind bully getting into uh, a trap. Got it. Is this the dream hand? That's basically the dream hand. Uh, sure. Uh, let's pass. <clears throat> Mourn Tart. I've played against this guy earlier today. Holy crap. Now we got inside information. Pretty wants to thin his deck. Boglets. And riders. And witchers. And roach. Well. What's better than an archer? You don't want these. I'm not sure if I want that. Actually, the archer could be the best here. Because it can counter some neckers. Although it can be bad if... Well, you say it's more tart. But it's still still good. Archer is good. Let's keep it. This is the god hand. Alright, let's keep it. That thinning in more tart equals points. Yeah, we're just throwing that up. We're not using Ragnarok on that. Okay. Let's play this guy. It's row. I might just like throwing the egg into the fire. Because the double trap will trigger it. I kind of have to make sure that the pitfall trap doesn't hit an egg. But that's already a given. Sure. I'm not too concerned about these. Because I can just throw them into the fire, but as long as he... As long as he plays five... Well, it, if it's six, we can throw it into the fire. But if he plays just fives... I can just, like, crushing trap them. Perish, worm. I don't think he's gonna care on them, but we'll see. Let's play this. You should not have come here. This guy is mostly as a distraction. He's out there standing uh standing in the front, standing tall, looking um questionable. Oh look at that. Now that's annoying. Now that's what, what we want to throw into the fire. Do I just do it with Yaran? Nah, we might want to lock something. Just throw him into the fire. Alright, let's do that. Only death here for Dwan. We're all dressed up just for you. That's annoying. So he has to play the Mourned Heart soon. That's the last time he can play the Mourned Heart. So two more cards. So, this could be a Pitfall Trap. He's not gonna play Mourned Heart now. Then we replay it. That could be still a pitfall trap.
He always has to take the chance. That's good. And now I'm playing the Pitfall Trap, for reals. I think they should just go into the fire. Well, at this point it doesn't matter much. But, yeah, it's still better. Just put in the fire. Nothing else, we can just move it back. So last time to play more darts. Gone. Time to play Yorvid's Gambit. Uh, Yorvid is extremely annoying to play against. After that, we can just move this guy into the front. And everything is gonna be destroyed. Yeah, whatever. This should just boost the biggest guy. Hey, it looks pretty good for him right now. But... We're gonna move back Chiron X. It's better than the Ragnarok. That's it. I, I didn't even see how many points uh, advantage we had in the end. It's not too crazy, but yeah, it was well played, I think. GG, Putin.